I spent the last couple of days chasing down parts, and um, I probably got enough now I could build a couple ATCs. Anyway, um, there's no reason not to go ahead and get started uh, on this one here. I put the uh, a pull start on it, and I really should clean it up, but I'm dying to see if this engine will run. So what I think I'll do is um, I'll check for spark first. That's pretty easy. And then, um, well, if there's no spark, I'll have to chase that down and find out why there isn't. But I have more parts. I have another couple of alternators, and, um, or magnetos, I guess they're called. And um, I've got another coil. I probably have all the parts, points. So if this doesn't spark, we should go get that working. And then, even though it's been smoke in a fire and smoke all over it, and it has this filter on, so I don't think anything got inside the carburetor. So I'll probably just pull the um, filter off and shoot some starting fluid in it and see if it'll, it'll run. Feels like it's got a compression. I mean, you really should run a compression test on it, but. Um, Anyway, that's what I think I'll try to do. Okay, well, let's try it again. And no spark. I've done a little more work on this ATC, but I did it off camera. I put the wheels on and the grab bar and uh, took it off of the lift. And where I left off in the previous video was trying to get it to spark. It sparked a little bit and it quit. So um, I got to try and run that down and find out where the problem is. And I decided I'd start with um, you know checking the points, adjusting the points. But to get to the uh, to the points and to the uh, timing marks you have to take the left side case off but before you take the left side case off you have to take the chain guard off it's off already and but to take the chain guard off you have to take off the uh, skid plate anyway it's kind of a pain in the neck but um, it doesn't take that long and um, so uh, I went ahead and adjusted the points I probably should have done that on camera but there's other videos out there showing you how to do it I'll just show a brief summary of what I did. Okay, here are the timing marks. There's a F mark here and a T mark here. The T is top dead center, and when it lines up with this little little groove in the case. Okay, so right now it's a top dead center, and the F is for the ignition timing. I think it stands for fire. All right. Um, what you want to do is you move it over to the T and then through this hole you can uh, adjust the uh, the points. If you take the uh, flywheel off you, you can't adjust the points that way because the flywheel has to be on so it's a little pain in the neck but there, you'll see that screw there when you get it right on the T mark right in the middle of the hole you loosen that up a little bit but not too loose so the points will stay in there and then there's a, a little place where you can put the screwdriver to adjust the points. And what you want to do is you want to adjust the points so that when you're going counterclockwise, just as the um, as the F comes by there, the points just begin to open. And I think you can eyeball it, but my eyes aren't that good. I like to use a meter so I can see when it electrically opens. And um, I'll show you how we do that. So what, what you do is you take your meter and... Uh, Move it over to the ohms position. And I don't know if you can do this with a digital meter, probably, but this is what I have. It's a volt ohm meter. And um, I'll put this one lead. It doesn't really matter which one on ohms, but um, I'll connect it up here to a ground. And then the, uh, the other lead, the black one here. Okay, first what you want to do is you want to touch the two leads together. And the, the meter should should zero. Okay, well it goes almost to zero. It's on three ohms. There's a little screw here you can adjust if you want to, but not necessary. We're just checking for to see when the points open. Okay, and um, I'm already taking this loose, but this black wire coming out of the uh, 
out of the uh, magneto is the one that's for the ignition. Okay, there's another black wire down here. It's not being, it's not not used. Okay, so we put this in here, and um, all right, we're, we're going to be a little bit to the left of the, fo uh, the F. And as you move it around to the F, you'll see the meter move. Right there. Okay, I'm going to the left now. Moved, and I check over here, and the F mark is lined up. So the um, point gap is right, and the, and the timing is also right. The way you set the timing is by adjusting the point gap. There is no timing adjustment on the ATC-70. Um, inside the, uh, the um, under, under, under the uh, flywheel here, there's um, two stator coils. Okay, one of them is hooked up to this black wire, it comes out, and that's for your ignition. There's another one hooked up to this green wire, it comes in here, and it's got a rubber cap on it. The interesting thing is, though, there's another thing here, a neutral switch. And, um, well, let me go back and explain what we were doing with the timing first. Okay, there's three parts in there. One, there's a, a stator coil, and there's a condenser, and there are the ignition points. They're all in parallel. So when the points are closed, um, the uh, the path that goes directly through the points to ground. Okay, and that's when they have the least resistance. Let me, let me put this back on here again. Um, in here. Okay. Here the points are closed. Okay. Now when you open up the points, then um, you know the, the electricity can't get through there. It'll charge up the capacitor very instantaneously, and then it'll go through the coil. So there's um, a little bit right there. Okay, so now now the electricity is going through the coil. There's a little bit more resistance in the coil. It's just a coil of wire, so it isn't very much. We only have you know like one more, one or two more ohms that we had when the points are closed. So um, as the points open, that's when the plug fires. So we want it to just, just open right there. Now the other condenser, the other um, the other uh, stator coil on there, it, it goes to this green wire and it's unused. Probably for lights, if you want to put lights on it. And over here, this is a neutral switch. And we can check that. Right now the uh, um, Transmission is in neutral, and we can see it's it's a ground. Okay, so it is like, and then um, right now you're gonna see, you're gonna see this this shaft turn a little bit, and that's where the neutral indicator is. And here, okay, we're we're in neutral now. Right, now we'll see the shaft turn. Now we're in gear, and you can see the switch is off now. It's just open. Okay, before it's closed to ground. I don't know why you're going to have a neutral switch on ATC 70. Um, you want to put it neutral before you start it up, but you have to have a battery on there because there's no power. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe that this bottom end of this engine is used on something else. Where it has a battery and a starter and everything, and I don't know why they still have the neutral switch on here, but there it is. Engine is still not running. I still haven't really figured out what the problem, electrical problem, is, but I guess I'll continue working on that. I'll give you an update later.